Right, let's start with the big story that we are tracking this morning where Prime Minister Narendra Modi is paying tribute to Sardar Vallabhai Patel on the occasion of his birth anniversary. The Prime Minister will also release a commemorative stamp later in the day. These are live visuals that we are getting of Prime Minister Narendra Modi paying tribute to the Iron Man of India on the occasion of his birth anniversary. And also Home Minister Rajnath Singh also paying tribute to Sardar Vallabhai Patel. President Ramnath Kovin is also president and so is Vice President Venkaya Naidu on the occasion. There's also a big massive event, Run for Unity, that has been organized where people are participating in this marathon for to run for unity. This, this of course, is a big celebration to commemorate the success and achievements of the Iron Man of India who had effectively brought together the various principalities immediately after the occasion and had made India the one united nation as we know today. And for more on this, we are also joined in by my colleague Nagain Singh, who's tracking all the developments on the ground. Nagain, what more information do we have? So today, uh, the Prime Minister and uh, the President and the vi Vice President and also the Home Minister Rajnath Singh are there and uh, the event has just begun. The, uh, the race, the marathon uh, will begin at 7.20 and it will be around the India Gate uh, hexagon. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are more than 15,000 people that are supposed to attend this event and mostly are the government officials and this is to celebrate the, uh, the birthday of uh, the first Home Minister of India and the Iron Man of India, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. And uh, this uh, event has come to, uh, this is the third event and uh, more, more people and more young people are supposed to join the event later uh, in few more minutes and the, the next, uh, another 20 minutes. Absolutely, Hello. indeed. Nagin, do continue to stay on with this. These are live visuals that we are getting from New Delhi, where the run for unity is about to begin in a few minutes' time. We're given to understand roughly at about 7.20 this morning. And these are shots that we got from just a little while back. These are shots that we are getting of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is also flanked with several other dignitaries. We can see Vice President Venkai Nairu. There's also... Home Minister Rajnath Singh there as well at this point of time. India, of course, is observing the National Unity Day today on the 142nd birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Now, various events have been organized across the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will, of course, be leading the nation in paying the tributes to India's first Home Minister. He will offer tributes to Patel in New Delhi, which he's just done, followed by administering a pledge and flagging off the run for unity. About 20,000 people, initially it was being said 15,000, but about 20,000 people will brave the cold of this very chilly, cold Delhi morning and will be participating in the march from all walks of life, including ex-servicemen, government officials, students, athletes and the police force. Now, the 1.5-kilometer run in New Delhi will start from the National Stadium, where the sports personalities such as P.V. Sindhu, Mithali Raj and Sardar Singh are expected to take part. State governments and central ministries have also been asked to organize digital exhibitions in the event, drawing several competitions. And the Ministry of the Sports will organize the run in 623 districts with the help of 12 regional centers of the Sports Authority of India and the Nehru Yuvak Kendra. The Railway Ministry will also be displaying banners and hoardings with Patel's message in 100 railway stations across the country. The government observes 31st of October as a day of special occasion to foster and reinforce the government's dedication to preserve and strengthen the unity, integrity and security of our nation. Now, Nagin Singh, my colleague who's tracking the developments for us. Nagin, this, this of course is a big celebration which... Uh, the Modi government has, of course, organized. It's not just in New Delhi, but in all the other districts, in every single district, 623 districts of India, this celebration where the Unity Day of India is being celebrated. Yes, uh, this is amazing to see. This is uh, 6.30 in the morning. It's not a Saturday or Sunday, but the number of people who are turning out at this place, this is amazing to see. And this is not just one of the events which is happening in Delhi. Uh, another event that uh, took place uh, that started at 6.15 in the morning in uh, Nehru Park, where uh, uh, 
the other government officials were there, and this is this has been organized uh, throughout India in most of the districts, and it has been it is going to be celebrated uh, hugely. And uh, here in Delhi, especially, what we have seen that normally on uh, working days people do not gather for these kind of events, but uh, this time. Uh, it's uh, amazing to see that so many now people have turned out here uh, early morning uh, to participate in the event. Absolutely, so, Nagin. And also, if you can give us some details, if you have, of the kind of marathon runs that have been planned. Is it a full-fledged marathon or are there several different events, different categories in which people can take part? So, uh, special... Yeah, the people are going to uh, join the join the run, and then they will all gather at uh, the Amar Jawan Jyoti, and uh, then there is a small uh, event at the Amar Jawan Jyoti, and uh, the event will conclude at Amar Jawan Jyoti after the 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 marathon is finished. And uh, the what we are, what we other information that we have from here that uh, after 7:20 only. Uh, uh, the when uh, the Prime Minister uh, flag off uh, this. Uh, Absolutely, indeed. Do continue to stay on with us, Nagin. We are getting live visuals from New Delhi where people, enthusiastic youngsters, people from different walks of life, have, of course, gathered on this very cold, chilly Delhi morning. Uh, and they are, of course, there to run in, in, in this big celebration that has, of course, been organized by the government of India. As, as Unity Day on the 143rd birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who is of course having been credited of having joined more than 500 different kingdoms and principalities when India became independent on the 15th of August 1947. It was not just essentially, there were many principalities that had to be brought together to make this one nation. He used diplomacy, he used force where it was necessary and it was his efforts which essentially paved the, paved the day, way for India as we know it. So Prime Minister Modi will be flagging off the run another 10 minutes time from now. We expect the race will start roughly at about 7.20 this morning is what we've been given to understand. And also my colleague Nagin Singh who's tracking the details. Nagin, any information on some of the um, you know, celebrities who may be taking part in this marathon run? I'm sorry, can you, can you repeat yourself, Alex? Right, my question was, any, any celebrities who are taking part in this run for unity? Yes, no, uh, the information that we have, that Virat Kohli and uh, Suresh Raina uh, are also, also joining this event and they will uh, be part of it, but not, uh, not in Dhyanchan Stadium. They, have been, they are participating uh, in the another event uh, which has been organized at Nehru Park uh, uh, Nehru right. Park, and uh, from there, uh, there, there are more cricketers who are uh, supposed to join the event. Absolutely, there. indeed, Nakin. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much, indeed, for joining us with all the details. We'll, of course, keep coming back to you as the story unfolds through the day. Some massive celebrations have been planned, and the run for unity is expected to begin in a few minutes from now.